What's up guys, Ross Finds of the Week. Here is the recap. Finds 51 through 75. What kind of profits did I make on these items? This is gonna be the short and easy breakdown. And if you're looking for the long version, I'm gonna have a 30 minute long spreadsheet video talking about my fees, how much I paid for shipping, all of that but this is just a quick easy version so find number 51 and what do you know starting off with a find that didn't sell notre dame team player under armor gym bag i paid 32.46 for it i had it priced at about 99 then i went down to 89 still nothing came in and i was like you know what it's not really moving right now probably won't move until later on this year maybe in the fall but uh, I definitely think it's going to hold its value being Notre Dame and Under Armour, so I'm staying patient with it. I'll uh, probably sell it later on this year. Number 52, LeBron James 13 Low Premium. They were pretty big, a size 15. Uh, I paid $43.28, sold it for about $90, profit $23.67. And when you have a huge size like this, it's either just going to sell quick or you're going to hold on to it for a good while. I held on to it, finally got a decent offer. I was like, you know what, let's sell it and we'll move on and reinvest in something else. Number 53, Nike USA Elite Revolution Jacket. Paid $43.28, sold for $84.99. This was around when Team USA lost, and I remember the comments on that video. Um, sold it, got $26.01. I know, random little profit thing there, but uh, glad we made some money on this. And um, I wasn't even the lowest. Some people were selling it for like $59 range, and those still didn't sell. So I took the $84.99 and made uh, 26 bucks profit on it. Ross find number 54, lot of six NBA stance socks. So this is just a little example. I did bundle them into different lots. This is just one of the examples, lot of six. I sold for 14 or I bought for 1406, sold for 44.99 and made $18.71 profit. Now I still have quite a bit of them left over, but then I also sold uh, various lots and you'll see that full breakdown in the spreadsheet video of how I kind of put them together by size and or team. So this is just one of the examples, $18.71. Find number 55, Nike Dunk SB paid in full sneakers, paid $49.99, came out to $54.11 with tax, sold on eBay $103.99, profit $27.79. The thing that got me a little worried about this find was the yellowing, if you guys remember that part. Um, I don't know if that was really going to be a bit a big concern for some of the collectors out there. I had them priced at like 140 range, didn't really get that amount of money. Um, then a decent offer came in, and this was about maybe like a month and a half in. So I took that, made the profit, $27.79. Find number 56, one of the big time finds, Adidas NMD R1 Blackout, huge size 20. I paid $24.88, sold it for $140 profit. $89.04. Um, they were still a little bit light. If you've seen other NMDs, I also have another pair of size 20. Hasn't sold yet, but this one is one of the big time finds of uh, the last Ross finds of the week. Find number 57, Air Jordan 10 Retro Bulls over Broadway for grade school. Paid $35.71, sold for about $90. Profit was $36.04, and this was just a cool find because we don't really see a lot of Retro Jordans uh, for kids or men's that aren't cleats. So a good little change up there and made a nice little profit, a little bit over $35. Find 58, Adidas Originals Pharrell Williams Human Race Backpack. I only found one, and it was $19.99 plus tax. Sold for $65.01, and I made $28.73. Um, pretty cool looking backpack, and I uh, never really thought about keeping it. I just wanted to make the money on it. I really didn't see any other ones out there, so this was a nice, quick little flip. Here's another one of those big time finds. Find number 59, Nike Lil Posit. The Copper Foam Posits, $34.99 plus tax, sold for $140, profit $73.06. Let me know in the comments below if you found this shoe and you sold it and you made the money that you wanted to make because I know quite a bit of you out there found this shoe and made some good money out there. Find number 60, unfortunately, did not sell. Adidas, Adidas Zero Rain Pants. Retail on these bad boys, $100. And completed listings look promising. Everything looked good. I only paid $21.64. Still hasn't sold yet. Probably going to have to take um, <laughs> probably lower ROI on it and sell it. I guess nothing really that special about them.
Number 61, another big time find Under Armour Freedom Project Rock Backpack and purchase price $54.11, sold it for $139.99, made $52.91 on the backpack. We've seen more of them come out, plus the gym bags. Remember, stay patient, make the money you want. Number 62, Golden State Warriors Adidas Encore Warm-Up Jacket. This bad boy was awesome. $19.99 plus tax. Sold for $63. Made $27.06. Some people found this jacket for $14.99 or $16.99. For some reason, I had a weird off Ross tag. I don't know what happened, but still made the profit there. Pretty cool looking item. Number 63, Adidas Compression Day 1 T. This one was one of those finds you're like, eh, we'll see what happens. But I paid $16.70. It was like $100 retail. Sold it for $60. Profited $32 even. So a quick little double up on this random tight little compression shirt. Here's another big time find. Find number 64, Ronda Rousey walkout hoodie, paid $10.81. I've sold four of them so far at $49.99. So we've made over $100 just on this UFC hoodie. I have two or three of them left. And same thing, $59.99, then taking a best offer at $49. Gonna stay pretty consistent with that price and pretty nice profit right there of $25.76. Uh, find number 65, no respect for Outcast out there. Paid $14.06, no one has bought the shirt yet. I have it priced at retail, and I figured, you know, pop culture type of thing related with Under Armour probably would sell. Hasn't sold yet, we'll see what happens. Another find that hasn't sold yet, find number 66, Nike Air Hirachi Run Premiums. That snake skin look and feel. I paid $54.11, which is probably too much for the Hirachis. I haven't gotten any uh, good offers or anything on it yet. So we'll see what happens with this one as well. But I think this one and the Outcast T might be some of the slower, maybe unwanted moves and finds of this video. Find number 67 hasn't sold yet because I haven't listed it yet. I actually have two of them and I paid $19.47 with tax, the burn helmet, Wu-Tang. And for me, I just feel like it'll be a collector's type of item down the road. So I might not even list it this year. I'm thinking of holding on to it for a good while and maybe we'll see what happens a couple of years from now if someone's interested in the Wu-Tang helmet. Find number 68, New York Islanders Black Premier Jersey, only paid $7.57. Most of them selling for about $49 to $59 range. Some people have sold them for $34 to $39. I'm staying patient with it. I have it priced at $59, just waiting for a good offer. Find number 69, Nike Kobe Mamba Instinct Basketball Shoes. $39.99 plus tax, sold it for $99.99 profit, $40.44. Mamba Instinct isn't the best Kobe shoe out there, but people were looking for this colorway, so pretty cool there. Do almost doubling up the money, considering the tax part, but $40.44. Find number 70, Adidas Originals Game Day City Checkered Camo Jacket. Paid $32.46, sold it for $80. Actually, it wasn't even too long ago. Uh, almost doubled up our money. $29.30 profit on the Adidas jacket. Find number 71, Reebok New York Islanders PA Parentau jersey. Hopefully, I said his name right. Paid $7.57. This one has full nameplate, sewn numbers on the sleeves and the back, full authentic jersey. Same thing, have it priced pretty good out there, but no good offers yet. Gonna stay patient. Find number 72, Nike Shadow Pro Baseball Glove. And purchase price, $37.87. I have a price kind of high right now at like $140. I'll probably knock that down maybe like $125 range and see what kind of offers come in. But with baseball season around, hopefully we should sell it pretty soon. Find number 73, Adidas Outdoor Turex Sky Chaser Shoes. Paid $48.70. Hasn't sold yet, but I've gotten offers of $80 and $90. And I both declined those offers. Waiting for a good price out there. I, have, I think I have them priced at 130, 140 range. I think that's the money we should get for them. Find number 74, Nike Air Hirachi Run Ultra for Kids. Paid $40.40. Right now I have a pretty good amount of watchers, like eight watchers, but no offers yet. And it's barely been listed for about two weeks, so we'll see what happens. 
And last but not least, Nike Mercurial Vapor CR7s pay 2705. I've gotten so many lowball offers, it's not even funny. I'm gonna wait around. I want to get that hundred dollar range plus. So uh, it's also a good size. It's a size nine, so no need to rush it. And they should sell later on this year. That was the complete breakdown, quick little breakdown. Remember, if you want to see the full version, what I paid on fees and shipping, because I've had those questions too, like how do I make money in some of the Ross fines? How do I know what's going on with the PayPal and eBay fees? I'll break that full thing down on the next video. Thanks guys for watching this shorter mini version. We'll see you on the next video, Ross Fines of the Week number 76. Go out and get it.